In the previous lecture, we applied the dent effect and we tried to adjust it using the settings from over here. In this lecture, we're going to do a series job. We are going to apply the light rays and customize it as much as possible and then create a simple animation with the light rays. It will serve you as an example for all the other effects that are available in the free version. I will delete the dent effect and then go to light rays, click and drag and drop it on the clip. Of course, you jump immediately to the open effects. The light rays effect will take the areas with high luminosity and then create some kind of rays coming out from the areas. Pretty cool effect if you do the right settings. Within the settings, the first option is select the output, what kind of output you want. By default is the final image, of course, but you can go ahead and choose source regions. In the source regions, it's actually showing you where the lights are going to come out from. And then you have the light rays alone. That will be very interesting also for compositing. And you have the final image. That's what we are going to use. Within the source of rays settings, you can have bright regions or edges. Within bright regions, it will take the whole area where you have high luminosity and extend the rays. But then in the edges, it will take only the edges of the area. Notice what's happening here. It's pretty cool, by the way. I will keep it to edges. Then you have the source threshold, how far you want to go or how little you want to go and how far you want to go. Just keep it as four. It's always cool like this. Within the position, you can select from a location or at an angle. Now, this is pretty cool. If you play with the angle here, you notice the light rays are coming from the edges, but then you can direct them the way you would like. And actually, you can animate this. Then you can go from a location. From a location, you have X and Y position. I will take down the Y, and here you are. You have the on-screen control is only the center, and you can decide where you want your rays to come out from. Okay, so I'll put it just on the corner here. It looks cool for me. Okay, you can do something else if you like. Within the appearance, you decide on the ray drop-off, that is the maximum distance where the rays are going to disappear. And uh, you can have another one which is keep shape of source. So it's trying to keep the shape of the source around the light rays when they are dropping off. Or you can have a bloom harsh, if need be. That's pretty cool with compositing. Or you can have bloom soft the way you would like. Then I will go for default soft. You have the length. If you click and drag, you can make the light rays longer or shorter. So I'm going to make them long like this. And then you have the softness. It's very soft. It is very harsh. If you want, I'll keep them a bit soft, just a bit. Then you have the brightness. So you can increase the brightness or decrease it. Now, usually what I do, I change the color first. Go to something, you know, normal, just like this. Okay, so it was white. Now it is this color. Let's take it up. Let's make it a bit more reddish. Just a bit. Click OK. And of course, you have the blending mode. You can blend it. So now, this is before and this is after. If you want to preview, there is a setting that will allow you to speed up the preview. If you right click on the clip, you go to Render Cache Open FX Filter and you choose the effect you want to render. In our case, we have only one, so it's light rays. Cool, let's go to the beginning of the clip. I press semicolon. And you notice there is a red line now as starting to render. You can wait for it to render 100% and then play. So I press Alt forward slash to play from in and out point. Not bad, it's pretty cool. And notice how the light rays are being intersected or stopped by the black of the subject itself. Of course, now I'm doing a lecture for you. I'm trying to do my best to adjust it at 100%. And I don't want to bore you coming backward and forward for the adjustment. But please, guys, feel free to come to this clip, add the light ray effects, and tweak it the way you would like. Let's create an animation using the position. I have the first position that is over here. I will keyframe the X and Y. And maybe I will come at the end of the clip, just over here and click on the position and drag it to the right. Okay, that seems okay, just over here. You can give it time to render. So it is 100% rendered, so it plays in real time. And let's play from in and out. Not bad at all for a first experience if you like. 
Actually, I like it very much. And uh, this is before and this is after. So you gave a lot of light, a lot of life uh, to the clip. Of course, guys, feel free to apply the effect and tweak all the settings and maybe you add another glow or something like this. Just play around with them. It's pretty interesting and pretty powerful. What's important is that you feel comfortable using the effects from the edit page because later on it's going to get more complicated with the fusion and the color page. Thank you very much for listening and I will see you in the next lecture.